here today. It's such a privilege. Um, we're just very happy to celebrate how awesome our God is and how He has gifted us with these great schools. And it really is. Sometimes we don't take we take that for granted. We forget how lucky we are, how blessed we are to go to the schools that we go to. And we really are. And for all of us teachers and parents here, how lucky, how blessed we are to be part of the schools also. So today I just want to talk a little bit about, um, just a little bit about Concordia Academy. A lot of exciting things going on here at the high school. In fact, this weekend we had something super exciting happen. We have a new program, uh, an advanced robotics course that competes in robotic competition where the students design the robots, uh, work the robots, and they compete against all kinds of other schools throughout the state. And uh, in fact, we just had, we had one of our teams, two of our teams that actually qualified to go to state, just like you can go to state in athletics, you can go to state in robotics. And this last weekend, they had the state robotics competition. And Stefan, come over here, is one of our students. Uh, Stefan Malabatula is uh, one of the team leaders for one of the teams that was in state. And Stefan, for the folks out here, just tell us how we do in state. Uh, we are the state champions and we are going to the world competition. That is a huge deal for our first time entering robotic competition. One of our teams took first place in state in two different categories, I believe. Invited to world competition, which is where? World competition is on April 15th in Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville, Kentucky, robot capital of the world right there. We're very excited about that. And, uh, and show the trophy. He's got a funky trophy here, a couple of them that they won. These are the. This is for the state tournament champions, and we also had the best designed robot uh, judges award. So these are two invitations to worlds. So since we're just kind of talking about robotics a little bit here, Stefan, why don't you uh, tell me what you like about being in the robotics program? Obviously, you love it. So yeah, yeah, I just love to apply like all the things that you learn in math and science, you know, and just like put it in robots. But you know what else I like? I like the side projects. What side projects? I know you do the robots for competition. What do you mean side projects? Well, you know, like taking things that are already there, making them better, sweeping them up. You don't do that like with school equipment, do you? Uh, <laughs> mostly not, but... <laughs> I didn't... Souping up equipment, that's new to me. I'm the principal, I should probably know about that. Yeah. Um, so what, like, what do you mean soup up? What have you souped up? I souped up some iPhones, iPads, recently. You souped up some iPads? iPads. What do you mean? Okay, this is a top secret uh, project, but for all of you guys, I think I can let you in on that. But you have it right with you? What's that? So, Pastor Burner, in the, in the past month, me and my team, we have created the iPad Petro 5805A. <laughs> this looks just like a normal iPad. Yes, on the outside it does look like a normal iPad. But on the inside, it is a powerhouse. Powerhouse. Well, what do you do with it? I mean, is oh, it just... It, it, uh, tons of stuff. I mean, like, you know, like, kids doing, like, arithmetic, calculus, physics, chemistry, don't even get me started. I mean, like, all these things that takes hours of steps to do, this iPad can do in less than 0 0.03 seconds. Wow. So, super... Oh, and let me tell you, do you like games? No. Okay, well, for all the out there... Gaming is amazing on this iPad. Gary. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Ant Man, that's like so old. This is like the modern. Take the game to a whole new level. No, no, come on, Gary. Listen, I got this. Come on, these things. No, no, you don't know what you're doing. Yes, I do. Listen to technology. Don't touch anything that you don't know what you're doing. You got Minecraft out here. I love Minecraft. Let's go testing it out. Go, go, go. 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 Go, go, go.
Let's go. But we don't have time to walk. Let's run. Run. Hey, hey do you want Yeah, I'm sure they will. Okay, here it goes. Just a little tap. 
we should keep them both out of school for this. Okay, well that's good. I'm glad we have that solved. Do you think we should forgive Mr. Fritz? Yeah, okay. We forgive you. Thanks for bringing him back, Stefan. And I think from now on you should just stick with winning the world robotic competition. Huh? Yeah. All right, thank you. You know, that silly little skit, that silly little skit, Dean and I had to go into a different world in order to save Mr. Fritz. Now that really didn't happen, obviously. We're just having fun. We have fun with our students. But a real story, I know, shocking. The real story is this. What this is all about is that Jesus had to come into our world in order to save us, right? And that is a true story. That Jesus came, he had mercy on us, he came for us, he died for us, that we might go with him one day and be with him in his world of heaven forever. And that's mercy. The theme for Lutheran Schools Week that you're going to sing about today and you're going to hear about all the time is mercy. God pouring out his love for us, giving us his goodness when we didn't deserve it. And we celebrate that. And that's why we say always as Christians, thank you, Jesus. We say we love you, Jesus. And we want to live now in ways that make you happy, Jesus, because of the great mercy that you have had for us. And we're going to talk about that throughout today. We're going to do all kinds of crazy things today. And let's, uh, let's end this portion with just one more word of prayer. Pray with me, please. Jesus, we just thank you for your incredible love that the true story is that you came into our world to live for us and die for us and rise again for us that we might go into your world and be with you forever in paradise, in heaven. We thank you for that, Jesus. We love you. We want to bring a smile to your face in all that we do. We thank you again, Jesus, for gathering us together as your people, as all kinds of people who have been saved by you. We love you. We praise you. We live for you in all things. Jesus, we ask that you continue to bless our day. Uh, may we have a good time with one another, with our teachers, with uh, the new people that we interact with. Uh, may you be in it all. May it bring a smile to your face, Jesus. We love you, our Lord, our Savior. Thank you for your great mercy for us. Amen. Amen.